First things first, I make sure my camera is set to NTSC instead of PAL. This unlocks more recording frame rates, including 120, 60, and the all important 24 frames. If I'm shooting client work, I'll use PAL standard so indoor lighting does not flicker on my recordings. Now I have it set to NTSC, we can choose our frame rate, 24 frames, all live. 4K or 1080? Well, that's project specific. But if I choose 4K, I need to be aware of the huge file size. It's usually saved for my short films and client work. Shooting in 24 frames on this camera allows me to shoot up to five times slow motion compared to only four times when in PAL. Next, we set our white balance, 5600 Kelvin if using daylight balanced light. If shooting with office lights or it's an overcast day, adjust the balance manually. Never shoot in auto. I repeat, never shoot in auto. Unless you like the look of your colors to change during filming. Shutter speed. Double, whatever your frame rate is, just do it, okay? If you want that natural motion blur like you see in the movies, just double your frame rate. 24 frames becomes 50, 60 becomes 125, and 120 becomes 250. Your camera might actually do double. Canon gets close, but not exact. ISO. Aim to get this as low to 100 as possible. Not always possible, especially in slow motion, so don't be afraid to crank it up to get exposure. Cameras these days handle noise pretty well, and you'll be surprised how usable high ISO footage actually is. Aperture! Or f-stop. Just put it at the minimum. Most of the time, I'm after as much light and bokeh as possible, so set the f-stop to the lowest your lens can do. This makes keeping the subject in focus harder, but the cinematic results are worth it. If your ISO is the minimum and your f-stop is letting too much light in, then you need to get yourself a variable ND filter. This will allow you to keep the beautiful background blur from the low f-stop even during bright sunshine. Lastly, adjust your picture style. Cameras come with built-in presets that are pretty nasty for film work. Make a custom setting with the sharpness and contrast turned all the way down. Reduce the saturation a bit and now you're good to go.